What's up, Paranormal Army? So the story I want to tell you guys today is one of my personal stories. Um, it happened to me when I was actually, actually a little bit younger, probably about um, eight years ago. Um, so I was um, on a mountainside, um, right down the road, down the canyon from my house. And so in order to kind of understand the canyon here, I got to tell you a little bit about my property. You can actually look it up on the internet, the actual canyon I'm going to talk about. Um, but it's, super, it's not really secluded, uh, which makes it actually the strange portion about it is because it's not secluded. Um, people do live on, on the canyon. So but the strangest of the story is because I actually don't think I seen the thing that was following me. Um, but I do did get a couple glimpses of it. And it was one of the most terrifying and creepy things I have ever seen. So I can't say it's a ghost. I can't say it's a creature in the woods. I can't say it was a monster. But all I can say, it was something I can't explain. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. All right, so my story begins. Um, it was about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, me and my buddy Jeff was getting ready to go on a hunting trip down the, down the canyon in Ford, Ford's Creek or Lower Ford's Road. Um, and so we were getting ready, you know, in our house. It was uh, about September, so it was starting to get kind of cold, you know, so less people was out on the mountainside than normal. Um, but we started, so we walked out our front doors, you know, I just got my boots tied up, you know, and it's, and I got my layers on because, you know, it's still snowy as shit outside. And so we are we're like, all right, let's do it. And we just jumped, jumped over the fence, started walking down the mountainside. And so how our property was set up, we had an old house, um, right next to the new house. So our new house is here. Old house is actually about right here. And behind the old house going that way down the mountain was Lower Ford's Ford's Canyon and so that's where we decided okay let's go go down there and hunt and let's see what we can find and so we just started heading down the mountainside all right around this time you know it was starting to get light outside you know it was still kind of dusk kind of dark kind of light you know it's about about 5 30 in the morning um six no that's wrong it's about 7 30 in the morning so it was just barely getting light up there um and the temperature started actually dropping um because all the sky opened up and it was losing all the heat it held in and so it was super fucking cold today that day and so we're walking down the mountainside and then uh, then I keep keep getting feeling I'm being watched you know I had my I had my my 22 with me and so I did have protection just in case something did come after us but you know it's only a 22 so what could it really do you know what I mean but I just kept getting that feeling something was watching me something was watching me it just felt like I wasn't alone um, Jeff, I noticed he kept looking kind of behind him periodically. You know, he didn't mention or say anything to me, but I know he felt it too. Um, but we didn't, we never saw the thing like in the very beginning of the of the hunt here. Um, it actually took a while before it started doing things to us. But um, once we're walking down, we're starting to get down to a good little flat area we call the animal graveyard. That was because a lot of animals were buried there before we even got to the mountains so we don't know how they got there or why they're there but we stopped there you know made a fire got warmed smoked a cigarette and started talking about our about our day and then we started hearing uh twigs and stuff snap behind us and we're like what the hell so we start looking around don't see anything okay and so we're just kind of wait a little bit longer you know we start starting the fire we spark up our pipe and so we're just kind of hanging out you know what i mean then we heard snap 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 behind us bro what the hell and we go look around look behind us nothing's there and so we put the fire out and and um and we're like all right we got to keep continuing if there is something out here with us we keep hearing it but we got to get down the mountain and we got to go finish this hunt so we can get home and so we walked down the mountain got to the very bottom of the of the canyon there it's about a five thousand five thousand feet to the bottom and so it's uh so the road that you come in on is called lower fords road and the t I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the road. Um, so the road itself, um, everybody who's ever gone off the road has died, besides one person, let's say he jumped out, shattered his back, and climbed out of the canyon. He's the only one to ever live off going off this canyon. So numerous people have died on this mountainside, just driving off the canyon, being drunk, you know. And so it's a very, very dangerous canyon. There are still old cars that are still at the bottom of the canyon that they can never get recovered of how dangerous this little section of the road is um so that also deters people so they usually don't go into the canyons unless they live around the area then they do 
Um, so what was, was initially following us, we cannot explain what it actually was. Um, but the next part I'm going to tell you guys, it does get kind of chilling. And so prepare for that. And so if you guys haven't hit the like and subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Um, and let's continue the story. All right, so we're walking down the canyon. We're about 100, 100 feet from the bottom of the creek there. And we get hit with this awful smell. This awful smell. It was like death, decay. It was nasty. It was really gross. And so we're like, okay, let's go find out what this is. This is really bad. You know, it can't be, it has to be old, you know, but not nothing more than a month old, you know. So we go down there and we see deer, dead deer, littered all over the bottom, bottom of it. Um, the water was all, was all nasty colored. And it's usually crystal clear. You usually can drink this water. You know what I mean? Um, but we just kept seeing remnants of animals down at the bottom. And our first thought was, okay, maybe a, maybe a black bear, you know, is down here. Um, but my whole time living there, I've lived there for three years. I've never not seen not one bear in the area. Not one. I've seen ale, elk. I've seen deer. I've seen wolf. I've never seen any bear. So instantly I was like, no, it can't be a bear. Okay, so we started looking around, looking around, didn't find any tracks, nothing like that. We started walking up the creek, kind of like going up, because out goes it goes up, and, the, and it comes the water's going down that way, down towards the clear water. Um, so we started walking up and find a little waterfall that's there, and next to this waterfall, there's another dead deer right, right next to the water, hanging half, ha hanging halfway into the fall, and then we get hit with another, another stench. Not like, okay, so if you guys smell like a dead animal. Right, you know, the smell is very distinctive, right? This was not that smell. It was not a rotting smell. It wasn't a death smell. It was a very masculine, musky, um, kind of like, uh, so you know how snakes sometimes secrete that nasty musk? It's, that's basically what it was, and no animal I know of that's mammal can musk. And if you guys do, mention it below in my comments. Um, but. As we were walking along, you know, we kept getting that feeling, you know, like, hey, what the hell is watching this? What the hell is watching this? Now the corner eye, I see a white thing zoom past me really fast into the trees. Like, I barely caught a glimpse of it. And so I don't believe I seen it, but if I did see it, this is what it was. It was a white creature that was stalking us in the forest. We still, to this day, we cannot understand or even remotely understand what happened down there, but we knew we were getting stalked by something. We knew it was a white creature in the forest that was stalking us. Um, and this isn't the only instance Jeff's had on the mountainside with this creature. He's had a couple run-ins with it, <clears throat> but he never really talked to me about it. He mentioned it to me, <clears throat> but never really opened up about it. <clears throat> but he lived up in Orofino for years, at least 15 years. And so he's seen this thing over and over again. If you guys have any ideas what it could have been, if you know anything about the Northern Territories of Idaho, Orofino, Washington area, um, stuff like that, please let me know in the comments, but this is going to conclude the story today. All right, guys. Bye.